Hi everybody, Dave Bartosowitz again. Listen, I have been involved in a group that is a Mormon evangelical Christian group. And I'm seeing things again with such confidence from the LDS writers, the LDS speakers on this group, that they are referring to the church that is the true church is the restored church by Joseph Smith in 1830. I have mentioned to a number of these people that you've got to tell me why you think it was restored. You've got to let me know how it happened. And they just come out and they claim, well, it was a bit awry after the apostles. And so because it was a bit awry, it, it fell. After the apostles died, it just, there was no church of Jesus Christ any longer. And so, first of all, if you think that way, you, you have to, again, think when Jesus said to, to Peter, upon this rock, Peter, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. You have to think, if that is the case, that that if it went awry after the apostles, when they were just starting for about 20, 20 to 30 years after they went out and started building churches and Christian community, you would have to say that Jesus lied and that he really wasn't God because he didn't know the future, right? Now, this is Mormonism. They believe that ultimately the church fell, the apostles, once they died, everything collapsed in with the Church of Jesus Christ until it was restored by a, a young man, um, Joseph Smith, in, in 1830. So from the period of time from the Apostles to Joseph Smith was actually about 1800 years, right? Close to 1800 years. And they think it was restored and so it, it there's nothing going on. It, it was just a mess. It was just chaotic. It was, there was no sense of priesthood anymore. There was no authority. There was no sense of um, a real structured church, uh, a church that had the, the faith of the fathers that continued to have this priesthood line. It wasn't there. It didn't exist. Anything that came of it um, really just ultimately was man-made, right? So that's a problem right? That's a problem because there are a lot of people that think this way. And it wasn't until I started truly investigating the objectivity of the church that Jesus Christ left to the apostles and the apostles continued this faith, continued the priesthood, continued the, the dogmas, the teachings, the sacraments, everything that, that continued. Was it true? Did it continue or did it not continue, right? The question is, that's the question for Mormonism to really answer. They basically say it failed. So what we say, it never failed. There was never an apostasy. We still have that church. 2,000 years, it's still here. And I try to explain this to people. And what I want to say is this. You have to do your research. You just can't go on the, the premise that, oh, well, the Roman Catholics, basically, a lot of Mormons, that's what they talk about, is Roman Catholic, that it failed, that it messed up, it was corrupt, and everything else. They don't know the beginnings of Christianity. The beginnings, again, of Christianity was this, that the apostles went forth after Jesus went into the heavens, as the angels were there, the apostles were there, right? that they went forth and they started actually going out and building Christian centers, Christian churches, Christian communities. They started doing that. Mark went to to um, Egypt. He went to an uh, area where it was the, the, he developed the Church of Alexandria. He, he actually laid his hands upon a number of bishops that he called. He gave this apostolic succession to 
to bishops and then bishops then ordained uh, priests and deacons. This is how it was set up. So you have that one church, right? The church of Alexandria. Then you have Peter, then you have Paul. They went out and they founded the church of Antioch. And this church was a, a, a very large Christian community center. It was a very significant uh, Christian area for the actual Antiochians, and they were first called Christians in that area, if you remember. Then we have James, the Church of Jerusalem. That was a very large church, right? And they were growing and growing until 70 AD, we, we know, after the Jewish revolt. And then you also had, on top of that, you had um, Andrew going into the Byzantine area, and that continued to extend, and, and the Church of Constantinople developed from Andrew. And then you, they kept growing and growing and growing. And then you also have Peter who went to the Church of Rome. And then Peter went to the Church of Rome and that developed. And those were five, five Christian community centers. So this kept going forward. You have the Apostolic Fathers, you have Polycarp who was ordained by um, John and, and also Paul. You have, you have also on top of this, you have Ignatius that was ordained. He was, he was one of the apostolic fathers. You need to know he was a bishop of the church of Antioch. This continued to have this priesthood all the way down to who I am today is Antioch and Orthodox. And this priesthood legacy, this priesthood authority came from Peter to Ignatius and it kept going, going, going down. It never fell. And so when people say that there was like an absolute need for a restoration, I always say, well, hold on. How do you believe this if we have the proof that the church is still here today from the apostles? It never left. I could prove it to you. I could prove it. So what I always say to the Mormon people, I said, if I could prove it, and, and we still have this church that's 2,000 years old from the faith of the fathers, and we continue to maintain the faith that existed all the way from the apostles, you have to prove it to me where it failed. If you cannot prove it to me that it failed, then absolutely, what does that say about your church? It says, it's not truly what you think it is. So it's important to, to look at that. It's important to, to examine that, to test it. So please, 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 Mormons, if you claim this, you have to prove it. You can't just say it. You can't just say it went awry. I could prove that it didn't go awry. I could prove that. We had a, a falling out with the Roman church from the other four churches, the four, four jurisdictions, Christian jurisdictions. We went eastward, right? We went eastward. eastward. So you have... Uh, a sizable amount of people who continue to become Orthodox, such as Romanians, such as Greeks, such as the, um, my hand is hurting a little bit right now, sorry. <laughs> it's like I have to sort of relax it. Um, but um, it kept going out to Romania, Greek, it went to Russia, it kept going to China, the Chinese Orthodox. You have this incredible, incredible extension of the church, but it went east. The Roman church, when there was the schism, and I don't want to talk all about that right now, but there was a schism from the Roman church to the Orthodox. It was all one holy Catholic apostolic, apostolic church, but there was a separation that we had with the Roman church. There was excommunication because of the things that they were doing we didn't agree with. We were based on bishops. They were based on a pope. So you saw this, this separation that, that caused a lot of issues, but we still maintained it. And then we went actually um, eastward. They pretty much started going westward. So, and they became the Roman Catholic Church or the Eastern Orthodox Church. But this church has been in existence for 2,000 years with the apostolic succession and the authority from the uh, Jesus to the apostles, and they laid their hands upon the head and ordained them. So we still have it here today, guys. I just want to let you know that's the truth. That's the objective truth. It did not fail. And so when Jesus said, upon this rock, Peter, I'll build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it, that's what happened. That's the truth. It never failed. So if you're a Mormon listening to this, think about that for a moment. Just think. 
and stop saying, well, it went awry and, and it messed up and the priesthood was lost and, and all these, these things that, that were once there that we have now was there. It wasn't. We didn't have those type of things. So I just want to let you know, I'll have to do a video later on the similarities of Mormonism and what Joseph Smith took in and used some of the similar ideas, um, but they are very, very different. How, how we view it. But anyway, God bless you guys. I wanted to share that with you and just tell you the truth of it on this day. God bless. Bye-bye.